Okay, we have two popular answers. Some people are saying answer number five, which is exactly the same as it was before. Some people are saying, well, it's half of what it was before. Well, how do we deal with a situation like this last time? You have three, you have a path that goes from A all the way over to B, right? As you traverse the imaginary path, you cross through three different regions of uniform field, differing uniform field, right? From A to this surface, it's 500 volts per meter, but then across this one millimeter distance, it's zero, and then it's back to uh, five times 10 to the fifth volts per meter again, okay? So how do I deal with a situation like that? How do I find the total delta V? What do we do? We add them up, right? We take one at a time, find the delta V across the first region, then across the second region, then across the third region, add them up. So we have an E1 dot delta L1, right? Minus an E2 dot delta L2 minus an E3. We don't need this anymore, so I'll erase this. E3 uh, dot delta L3. And so we have E1, the X component of E1 is 5 times 10 to the fifth volts per meter. And the distance across that first region is half a millimeter, right? 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. Minus, what's E2? E2 is 0. E2 is 0. And then minus... 5 times 10 to the fifth volts per meter times another half millimeter distance. And so that's the same, so we can add them up. Just say it's going to be twice that. What do you get? Should be negative 500. Okay, so it does actually reduce the potential difference. The field, placing the capacitor, or excuse me, placing the metal slab inside the capacitor uh, doesn't change the field in the air gap, doesn't change this field in the air gap, but does reduce the field inside to zero, okay, because it's a metal at static equilibrium. So it's sort of polarized perfectly so that we cancel out Elect net electric field inside, and then when you take the potential difference, you're going through a rather large region where the electric field is zero, getting, giving you a delta V equal to zero. You've reduced the potential difference overall, okay? Questions? All right.